Crack is a highly addictive and powerful stimulant that is usually smoked. The drug is derived from cocaine and thus the coca plant. Crack is made by dissolving cocaine in a mixture of water and baking soda. The mixture is boiled until a solid forms. The solid is then broken into chunks of crack. After smoking crack, you'll experience a very quick high resulting in euphoria. You may feel more alert and more sensitive to your senses of touch, sight, and sound. Your heart rate will speed up dramatically and your body temperature will rise. Crack cocaine effects wear off almost as quickly as they start, often leaving you extremely depressed within 15 minutes. Because crack causes a rush of the addictive, happy neurotransmitter dopamine, users immediately want more when the effects wear off. This is why crack is so addictive. Long-term crack use is associated with respiratory and severe cardiovascular problems. I don't know, man. I was banging seven gram rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll. I have one speed. I have one gear. Go. No, just do it, man. Charlie Sheen being fired is hopefully going to be his bottom. I saw Charlie Sheen and his relationship with CBS as very much a unhealthy, enabling relationship. Based on the totality of Charlie Sheen's statements, conduct, and condition, CBS and Warner Brothers Television have decided to discontinue production of Two and a Half Men for the remainder of the season. There's a little window on my schedule now. Come on in. The show has been on hiatus since last month when Sheen agreed to undergo rehabilitation after he was hospitalized following a 36-hour party at his home. Knock yourself out. I'm sure going to try. In October, he made headlines for trashing a room at New York's Plaza Hotel in an alleged drunken rage. I have a disease. Bull I cured it with my brain, with my mind. I'm cured. I'm done. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Experts say such behavior is common among addicts. The main characteristic of addiction, of addiction is denial. It is the kind of disease that says you don't have a disease. Whether he has a disease or not, Charlie Sheen has a problem. His TV career is now in jeopardy. I'm so tired of pretending like my life isn't perfect and bitching and just winning every second. And I'm not perfect and bitching and just delivering the goods at every frickin' turn because Look what I'm dealing with, man. I'm dealing with fools and trolls. Dr. Drew had very strong opinions about his mental state. I've spoken to psychiatrists who have told me that if this were their patient, they'd put him on a, what's called a 5150, an involuntary hold. Which means hospitalize him against his will. Correct. He would be benefited from hospitalization if somebody could get through to him. But part of the, the challenge of hypomanic patients is they don't believe they have a problem. They believe you're the problem. So it's very difficult to get them to cooperate. Good evening. In the new webcast, Sheen appeared calmer, looked better, but his rants just as confusing. Oh, how they once begged to attend my perfect banquet in the nude. Now they just beg for the keys to my gold. Your anger and your hate, I think, is coming off as erratic to people. Passion. My passion. It's all okay, passion. Your passion yes. is coming off as erratic right. to people. Right. Well, you borrow my brain for five seconds and just be like, dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard. Yeah, because it just it fires in a way that is, um, I don't know, maybe not from this particular uh, terrestrial uh, realm. They took two tests. They took a urine test and they also took a blood test, the results of which took 24 hours to compile. And this comprehensive report right here details and the results that America wants to know. And you tested for marijuana, cocaine, opiates, amphetamines, alcohol. What did you find? The blood test tested for a grid of 10 drugs, the urine a grid of 9. And the good news for Charlie Sheen, as he's watching this at home, I can tell you that right now, is that he tested negative for every single one of those tests. So negative, no drugs in his system at all, according to this urine and blood test. And that means, you know, we, we check with some experts as well, that means he is likely clean for at least a few days. This is good for what the urine test for two or three days, maybe the blood test just a little bit longer? Uh, no, in fact, the blood test only goes for a window of around about 24 hours, but it's a more complex test and looks deeper into the system. The urine, on the other, on the other hand, tests for some 72 hours. But this is a big win for Charlie Sheen. Make no mistake, he flew home early to confront these allegations. Uh, people thought that he was using in the Bahamas, and he wasn't. So according to your test, he's been clean for at least 72 hours, according to the urine test, and for the blood test, 24.